Hi, this is Mika. Thanks for coming back to Leap Taken. Here at Leap Taken, I talk about all things craft related, law of attraction, manifesting um, your desires into your life, uh, and anything esoteric and anything else in between that falls under that umbrella that I feel like I'm going to talk about. And here's why I in did my introduction that way. I fresh off of coming off of listening to someone's video um it was actually a live on facebook excuse me i'm burned up about this i'm peacefully sitting here planning for next month getting everything in order for my goals and what i'm gonna do and uh, my to-do list my to buy list my everything list i'm getting it all in my planner and i'm making it pretty well doing it so i'm very relax you know very happy right now my move is coming up on like two more days and I'm very excited about that so I'm vibing pretty high my frequency is like woo so at that, those times I'll, I'll watch a YouTube video or listen to music or I might even have Netflix going it's just you know a chill moment for me so I come across a video has nothing to do with anything magical uh, manifest nothing to do with anything that I talk about here okay I'm in a different world right now yet it comes up so the person was trying to make a point about their religion and conflicts within their under their their faith uh Christianity I'm listening I'm not offended I'm I'm I mean the world everywhere I go I'm dealing with mostly Christians um I have no issue I'm I'm comfortable with following people who are not, you know, I don't just surround myself with people who are falling under the pagan umbrella. So it doesn't matter to me. And I don't mind if people speak freely. First of all, it's their page. What I'm going to tell you not to, to say what you want to say, you know? <laughs> so anyway, I'm listening to this conversation and everything's fine. And they're, they're talking about their situation. So I'm, I'm just following along, you know, putting stuff in my planner, living my life happily over here. And they get to the part of where I hear something about witches. And next thing I know, the conversation, you know, they claim they weren't trying to be offensive, but there's no way to not take offense. Um, I think what they were doing is was relating African traditionalism as far as religion uh, with witchcraft, which some people do, and that's fine. Um, relating it to witchcraft and voodoo. I think voodoo, We, if, if you know anything, you know that voodoo has gotten... Oh, I think I got a hole in here. I'm sorry. <laughs> Voodoo has gotten a bad name, you know, for years. There's a there's a reason for that, by the way. It's because there look up Haiti. I'm not gonna go into the whole thing. Look up Haiti. <laughs> okay, that's why. Um, it was very important to give Hoodoo a bad name and to smear the campaign, and that's why Christianity was really gonna be pushed really heavy on um slaves at the time because they didn't want an uprising you know, uh, because of voodoo of what, how they won in Haiti, how they became independent anyway. So it's interesting. And a person that was speaking was a black person, just so you know. So I'm always, I, you know, it just shows a level of ignorance when I hear, especially someone's black, I don't care if you're Haitian and it doesn't matter, but you're someone of color and you speak ill of voodoo. It, it's, not to say anybody else can, but if you are of color and you do, if you're a black person of African descent, um, it just shows your ignorant, a lack of education. Ignorant in true textbook, for, you know, I'm not meaning that as a slur, meaning you don't know any better. Um, the problem is you have this little mini platform and you're speaking negatively on something you obviously really don't know about. So that pissed me off a little bit. I still like the person, I'll still follow them, but... I run into this so often. This is the problem sometimes. You know, I'm, I'm a woman of a certain age. <laughs> I'm 40 plus. You know, I'm up there. You know, I have grown adult children. I don't think I'm running around pretending. I'm not just getting into witchcraft because it's popular and I, seen, I saw some people on YouTube. Um, not at all. Actually, my young daughter gave interest and I did research because that's the type of person I am. Um, I'm very intellectual and I'm also a very practical minded person. So things have to make sense and I have to rationalize it. I've got to find a way to rationalize it for it to resonate at all. And piece by piece, piece by piece, 
the more I read, the more I found out. I wanted more information. I was interested. And then everything clicked. I could think of past experiences. I could think of present experiences. And I said, wait a minute. This makes sense. This is why I couldn't connect to anything before because that wasn't what I should have connected to. That's why there was no real connection and I was trying to force it because it had been forced on me. But I digress. The other thing was witchcraft, being a witch is popular. They was alluding to that. I'm, I'm paraphrasing what was said here. And on some level, I think I understand. They're aware of the popularity of witchcraft, which if you're not paying attention, there's definitely, um, it's an uprising. Whole Foods is, you know, they're selling sage like it's nothing. You know what I mean? Um, the Chris, if you look at the different makeup, if you go, you know, if you go to Ulta and you see the different makeup lines, they have crystals and they, you know, it's astrology related. So there's definitely an influence. It's become very mainstream. That's not a bad thing. <laughs> if I say so myself, that's not a bad thing. I am a mature woman. I am responsible. I've been responsible for other people and uh, raising them to adulthood. I've done that effectively. They're in society. They function just fine. Are they weirdos? Maybe. Their mom's a weirdo. So I could, probably did raise some weirdos. Yet they managed to function in society. Okay. And they know their mom is a witch. So for a solid good portion of their life, because if I've been at this for, I want to say, I think it's been almost 10 years now. I got to do the math. Eight, 10 years, something like that. That's a good chunk of their life. My kids, one of my kids is only 19. The other one, she's 23. You can't really count the first couple years. They don't remember it enough you know, for it to matter. My point is, I've been existing, practicing, I'm intelligent. Yes, I'm intelligent. I'm college educated. Um, I have my wits about me. I have a sense of morality. And um, I'm also a charitable person. I'm a good person. And I love on my family. I love them. I don't like when I hear those negative comments because it invalidates all that I believe and witchcraft is a broad term, by the way, when you really think about it, because if you practice and if you're listening to me right now, you clicked on here for a reason and you probably have some level of experience dealing in magic, right? Then, you know, witchcraft is a broad term because people call no one. No, you won't find two witches who necessarily practice the same way, even if they follow the same path, you know? Oh, well, I'm Wiccan, but they'll do something different. You know, nothing's really exactly the same as my point. Or their philosophies are exactly the same, even if they're following technically, you know, the same branch of witchcraft. Even with all that going on, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just getting a little off track here because I was just so burned up by it. I really got pissed off because all I'm thinking is we already have had a smear campaign on witchcraft which was deadly by the way it's still happening because if you go over into parts of africa they kill the kids you know or leave them out to pretty much die in the name of them being witches don't make it worse <laughs> don't make it worse to prove your greater point about your faith that's all I'm saying. It's a, it's insulting. Um, it's very disrespectful. And here I am sitting and I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of this person and I participate in their group. And I think, and I, for the most part, I, I still think they're a good person. I think this, this particular opinion is view is very ignorant. Um, but I'm sitting there. I've never made a disparaging comment. If something happens, you know, somebody, something neg or something bad happens to somebody and you see people with the prayer, you know, the hands, oh, I'll pray for you or, oh, you know, I pray, you know, something pray for you, you know, you're in my prayers tonight. I never write anything like that. If you're paying attention, <laughs> that's not how, by the way, if you need help with something like that, this is what I put. Um, I'm sending nothing but healing and I'm sending healing energy your way. You will get through this. I love you. I send those heartfelt words, not I pray for you. 
I love you or I care, I care for you and I know you're going to get through this. You are a wonderful person. I will write something like that. I don't just you put, I pray for you. Not that I'm mad at people for writing, I pray for you. But I'm just saying I get a little more heartfelt and I speak a little bit more from my heart because I have, I'm a very compassionate person. I'm a very emotional person, um, which is not a negative thing, by the way. I'm tapped into my emotions. And when I want to evoke a level of compassion and bring that out, I will bring that out. But the point is, I don't say to me, oh, you'll pray for him. Basically, you're just ignoring him. You're just writing this here just to make it seem like you care, but you really don't. I don't put that in a reply to someone. I think it, but I don't put it. Also, I think they're all freaking nuts, honestly. my Listen, I come from a family of ministers and evangelists and all this other stuff. I think the whole thing is freaking crazy. I think, I think it's just madness. Someone said to me, well, how do you feel about Christian witches? Like, what, what's the deal with it? I said, there is no deal. Their religion is against witches. You're stupid. Yeah, I said stupid. Read your Bible. Yeah, I used to be Christian. Mm. Read your Bible. I used to sit and do Bible study, not participate, but I was the person leading the Bible study. Read your Bible. That's why I get so offended when someone who represents themselves as being a Christian and they're serious about it and then they come from a negative point of view about witchcraft or witches and they're speaking negatively about it. Um, I find, I take pause because if you have a bit of a platform, and you're reaching people and you begin to reach a little bit more people and you have this type of attitude, we know what will happen. Oh, you don't think something like that can happen? Look what's happening to groups of people who other groups of people decide you're, you're bad. You need to be exterminated. You know what I'm saying when I say exterminate? You look what happened. We already know historically what happened to people who fall under witchcraft or practicing witchcraft. Listen, it's 2019. I'm convinced in my 40 plus years, I'm convinced that it is very possible for horrible things that happen in history to come back. We're in a world where people are arguing about if the earth is flat. Calm it down. <laughs> We're in a world where, because nothing can be trusted, everything is up for questioning. Even things that were constants. The thing about witchcraft is you learn about the natural world. You know yourself. You learn about your own mind. You know yourself and you know the world around you. So I'm not so quick to get on conspiracy theories unless I can do my own research and find out what what's the root of this. If I can get to the root, I may not still buy into the conspiracy theory, but I might recognize, hey, they, they, I can understand why they feel that way. Something's up here. Shout out to Area 51. No, don't do that. Don't, I'm not going to do that. Although I'm very close to New Mexico now, just because I'm curious, I would want to go. But I also don't want to get shot at. So, you know, I'll probably just stay home and watch on the news to see if they actually, you know, bum rush Area 51. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm still keeping up my water. This little, I think it's like $5 or so at Walmart. Best thing ever. I'm so grateful my husband picked one up for me. He could grab one for himself. We promised to drink more water. And he got me this pretty blue one because he knows I like blue. Mm. Anyway. Why can't we just be kind? I spend so much of my time. So much of my time in my, out dealing with the world. Whether it's virtually or in person whether with family or strangers, constantly being a tolerant person because I don't have the majority faith system. I'm constantly, we are the tolerant ones. It does not work in reverse. That's bullshit, excuse me. No, they are, no, it does not work in reverse. Either I'm ridiculed or, no, I'm always gonna be ridiculed. Um, feared, but still ridiculed. Somehow I'm faking it, but you're afraid of me. <laughs> um anyway I just needed a vent and I, I thought it would be kind of fun to do a video where I kind of just really you know come off the cuff um 
with this information, you know, on, on my feelings on the situation. And this all just happened. I just got to watch it. This just happened. And again, I don't hate the person. It's not like I'm, you know, I'm not cancel culture. I'm not going to go in and be like, oh, she's canceled. I hate everything she does now. She said this one thing. I'm not like that. I mean, there's some things you can't forget, you know, but I can forgive because I know it's coming from a literal place of ignorance. Um, but it doesn't mean it doesn't sting when I hear it, you know, especially if it's somebody you like. Ugh. Pray for me. <laughs>